Good morning, guys. I am on a local lake, not too far from my house, about 20 minutes. I've only ever fished this lake twice. But I think it's got some potential. I am surrounded right now by tons of lily pads, as you can see. And it's pretty calm, so why not throw a frog? Throw it in this little Johnny right here. Okay, I think we're gonna change some things up. We're gonna throw in this little spinner bait. This water is like filthy. I don't know if y'all can tell. So we need some with some more contrast. And it's a pretty easy day, so I can go out and work some uh, some points with this wind and hopefully pick up on a bass. There's a big bass. How about that one? That is going home in the grease. That there's a good fish.
That fish ate a spinner bait. Look at this thing. Destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. That thing is trash now. It's probably a good like 17, 18 inch rainbow. I'll clean them up here in a minute. Get some good pictures. Well, I'm gonna end it on that. I caught one good fish. Okay, got everything all loaded up. That was a complete surprise. Uh, I've never caught a trout on a spinnerbait. And like, that was a quarter ounce spinnerbait. It wasn't like a little itsy bitsy one. Uh, and I was casting up around lily pads, like real shallow. And that had to be like my last cast. I know you'll see it in the video, but I think I was just burning that thing in. Got smoked. And like at first I was like, maybe a bass? But the way it hit it, it was like, no, no, it just it didn't feel like a bass. And then I saw it and I was like, oh. But uh, yeah, that guy's going in the grease. It's been a lot, you know, most of the time, as you see on my videos, it's always catch and release, but that's a good size, middle of the road eater. So I'm gonna bring that home and uh, cook that up for the family tonight. So we'll see when we get home. All right, just like that, we're home. We're gonna get to cleaning this fish. Uh, like I said, I always usually do catch and release. I've actually never done a catch, clean, and cook on this channel, so this would be a first for that. And uh, let me show you the fish in question. Real healthy rainbow trout. I've yet to measure her, but I'm guessing 16 and a half inches and maybe, I don't know, two pounds. So I got this thing up shallow. I was casting, as you see in the video, I was casting up near lily pads uh, with that white spinnerbait of all things. And this thing crushed it. And of course at first, you know, throwing a spinnerbait, I thought that it was gonna be a bass. But as soon as I saw that flash of the belly, I was like, what the heck? It's a damn trowel. So I'm going to try to set this camera up as best I can so that you guys can see how I clean trout. This is just how I was taught from a young age to do it, so um, stay with it. So normally with the trout, I like to start at the uh, anus, the anal fin, and go all the way up to the throat. Take you a good sharp knife. Right up between those fins, trying to keep the knife shallow. You don't want to really nick the guts and all that. So all the way up to the throat, just like that. Oh my lord, look at that pink meat. So I'm going to save you the gory details. We'll just go through this real quick. Rip all the guts out, clean it out, wash it out, and then we'll get to the next step.
Got some ice in the cooler. Let these guys sit on ice overnight. We'll cook them up tomorrow. Good morning, good morning. It's another beautiful day here in Washington State, as you can see. All right, let's check on this uh, fish. I've had it, whoa, I've had it sitting on ice for uh, two days. Um, just because I didn't get around to cooking it yesterday, some came up, so uh, I'm cooking it tonight. Let's check it out. So I've had it sitting on ice. There's two fillets in there. I know I didn't do the best job. That meat looks good. It's firmed up a lot. Oh yeah. So we'll be cooking this tonight. And then you might have seen in uh, the other video I posted, I hooked into this guy yesterday. And uh, he was a bleeder. So I wasn't gonna let him go with a good conscience. So I cleaned him out there at the lake, as you saw, and uh, he's been on ice overnight. So we're gonna cook this guy up in addition to that. Um, so yeah. Stay tuned for that. Uh, I'll walk you through the recipe and the whole thing, uh, the whole process, uh, that I do so stay tuned for that later on today and we'll see you then all right first thing I'm gonna get going is I'm gonna melt down one stick of butter I need you some Creole or Old Bay either one will work and I like to throw a little honey on there um, you'll see why at the end so we're gonna get our fish Give that one more rinse, uh, clean it up a little bit, and then we will throw in the dish and then the oven. Okay, we've got that butter in there, melting. I usually throw it in for 30 seconds. Or whenever it melts down good, whichever comes first. There, here we go. Take your butter. Now, depending on how much fish you have, uh, you know, adjust your amount of seasoning. I just kind of like to coat the top real quick with some of that. By the way, that's Zadaran's Creole. And then of course, she know about that Old Bay. So I'll throw some Old Bay on top of that. Not too much. And then, last but not least, squeeze the honey. That'll do, just a squeeze. And then mix all that up. Now, this is the same recipe I use for salmon, guys. Most of the time. Get that all nice mixed up. Take our fish, those pretty fillets. This little guy, I just went ahead and lopped his head off real quick. Make it easier for cooking. So those guys in there like that, and we're gonna coat it with sauce.
All right, next what we're gonna do, I like to cover it in foil, and then for the last 10 minutes, uh, cook it uncovered. Um, what that does is that tends to caramelize that uh, honey that we put in the mixture, and it makes a nice little glaze on top of the fish. So I'll wrap it up. <laughs> that nice and wrapped up, I'll poke holes in it. Just like that. And the oven is almost preheated. Good enough. Set our timer for 15 minutes. Okay, so that's it. That's the first step. You got your mix with the butter and the seasonings. Throw it on top of your fish in either a glass dish or whatever the heck you want to cook it in. Um, covered in foil, throw some holes in there. 350 in the oven, and uh, usually it takes about, I don't know, 25 minutes to a half hour to get it to where I want it. Um, I, I tend to cook it a little slow and be really careful and methodical and, and check on it a lot. She is starting, okay. We are almost there. What I like to do is take some of the butter and the juices and just baste it. Usually the last time I check on it. That food looks good, y'all. So my dad cooked up some chicken strips and some fried potatoes to go with it. I threw some corn in there. See how she tastes. Alright, I reckon that's going to do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed the whole catch and cook thing. Let me know if you want me to do it again.